What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison between Huawei Nova 7 and Nova 7 SE smartphones. Nova 7 comes with Kirin 985 processor and Nova 7 SE comes with Kirin 820. The amount of RAM is same, both of them are running on the same Android version but in terms of CPU and GPU, Nova 7 is obviously better compared to Nova 7 SE but let's see how much difference we are going to get in terms of performance and benchmarking test score so let's start it so these are the benchmarking test applications we got today here so first of all let's start with and to benchmark so Nova 7 scored 416,952 and Nova 7 SE scored 379,641 so as you can see the winner is Nova 7 and if you go to the individual test score result here you can compare the result for CPU, GPU, memory and UX and as you can see in all of these four tests performance of Nova 7 is better compared to Nova 7 SE. So let's go back from here let's have a look on 3 Mark now. So this test is divided in Slingshot and Slingshot Extreme and Extreme is once again divided in OpenGL and Vulkan. So in Slingshot, Nova 7 scored 6173 and in Slingshot Extreme for OpenGL it got 5244 and for Vulcan 4931 and Nova 7SE scored 5635 in Slingshot, 4620 in Slingshot Extreme OpenGL and 4287 in Vulcan. So once again in all of these three tests performance of Nova 7 is better compared to Nova 7 SE. So let's go back from here and now let's have a look on the Geekbench 5. This test is divided in two parts CPU and compute and CPU is divided in single core and multi core. So as you can see that once again the winner is Nova 7 because it got 688 in single core and 2572 in multi core while Nova 7 SE scored 637 in single core and 2441 in multi core and if you go to the compute test result here you can see that Nova 7 scored 4046 and Nova 7 SE scored 3085 so in all of these three tests and different section different parts of these individual three tests performance of Nova 7 is better compared to Nova 7 SE and you can obviously give the credit to the better CPU and GPU of the device. So in real life as well the performance of Nova 7 is going to be a bit better compared to Nova 7 SE especially when it comes to gaming because of the better GPU and overall better performance. So that's all for now friends. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon as well to get the notification for future uploads. And I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.